Majora's Mask is a fantastic game, and using Nero's HD texture pack, we can have it go from this to this. Combining the texture pack with the emulation capabilities of the Steam Deck, this will give us a portable way to play Majora's Mask in HD. To get Majora HD running on your Steam Deck, you'll of course need, well, a Steam Deck, and then we'll also be using EmuDeck to streamline the emulation process. If you've never heard of EmuDeck before, check out the linked video in the description to learn more about what it does and the installation process. You also need a Windows PC and some sort of way to transfer files from your PC to the Steam Deck, such as a USB flash drive. Next, you'll need an unmodified N64 ROM of Majora's Mask that you, of course, legally backed up yourself. And then lastly, you'll need the texture pack as well as Patcher 64 Plus, which are both linked in the description for you to download. Once you have everything ready to go, we'll get started. First things first, make sure you have the Patcher 64 Plus tool extracted, as well as your ROM file with the .z64 and then the texture file .hts. Go ahead and launch the Patcher 64 Plus Tool Launcher.exe, and after waiting for a quick second or two, you should see this window pop up. Click on the three dots where it says Game Path, and then make sure you point it to your Majora's Mask ROM. Double check and make sure that the current game mode is set to the Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. Under Patch Options, it should say Additional Options and Redux. Now click on the bar that says Select Options. You'll be presented with a checklist of about 10 different modifications and fixes that you can add to your ROM if you so desire. For the sake of our texture pack, you're going to want to head over to Graphics, and then you're going to want to make sure that you have 16x9 widescreen advance checked off. Once you've marked off everything that you want, you can go ahead and close this window, and then you're going to click on Patch Selected Option. Give it a second to create the patched ROM, and once it's done, you can now close this window. And if you go back to the directory where you originally stored your ROM, you'll see that right next to it should be a new patched ROM, and this is the one that we're going to send over to the Steam Deck. Now go ahead and power on your deck, and make sure it's set to desktop mode. Assuming you've installed EmuDeck, you should have a folder named Emulation. Click inside that folder, and then look for another subfolder named ROMs. Go inside the ROMs folder, and look around until you find the N64 subfolder. Once you find it, you can take your patched Majora's Mask ROM, that we made earlier and paste it in here. Now you're going to want to copy the HTS texture file, and then we're going to go back to the N64 folder and go back a few directories until we're back to the emulation folder. Head into the HD packs folder, click on Mupin64 Plus, and then we can go ahead and paste our .hds texture pack file here. Now go ahead and open emudeck. Click on tools and stuff, and then launch the Steam ROM manager. Click on Preview, and then press Generate App List. Once it generates, look around, and make sure you can find Majora's Mask. If you can't find it, then you need to make sure that the N64 parser is enabled. If you find it, then click on Save App List. Once it's done, you can restart your Steam Deck so that it starts up in gaming mode. Once you boot it up, you should be able to find Majora's Mask with its own entry in your Steam Deck catalog. Go ahead and press play. Once you've started up the game, there's just a few features that we need to enable using RetroArch's in-game menu. To open it, click down on both of your thumbsticks at the same time. Now go to Quick Menu and scroll down until you find Core Options. Make sure that your RDB plugin is set to Glide N64, which should be the default. Now click on Glide N64. In here, you're going to want to make sure that your wide resolution is set to 1280 by 720 16 by 9 aspect ratio, and that your aspect ratio is also set to wide with the stretched option. Now go ahead and scroll down, and if you want, you can make sure that all your settings match mine, but what we're really going to be looking for is the option that says Use High Res Textures. Once you find it, make sure that Use High Res Textures is set to on, as well as Use High Res Texture Cache Compression and Use High Res Full Alpha Channel. 
Doing that should allow RetroArch to use the texture pack. Now we just need to go back to the main menu and click on settings. Go to video, click on scaling. And in the aspect ratio, make sure it's set to 16 by nine. If you see black bars when you boot up the game, you gotta make sure that 16 by nine setting is enabled in settings. Click on your two thumbsticks to close the menu. And when you do, you should be able to enjoy Majora's Mask with HD textures and widescreen. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Take care everyone.